A 2000 kg object is at rest on the floor. What is the normal force exerted by the floor? So here is our non-zero mass. And whenever we have a non-zero mass, we look at the forces acting on the mass. So that is the floor. So here is our object. What acts vertically up? and what acts vertically down. We definitely know that the gravitational force always acts vertically down. So what acts vertically up to balance the gravitational force? It is the normal force exerted by the surface on the object. So isolate the mass, isolate the mass, look at the forces acting on the mass. We have gravitational force acting vertically down, we have normal force acting vertically up. We are told that the mass is at rest. So we now know that the vector sum of forces is zero. That means what? Force up equals force down or normal force is equal to gravitational force. And gravitational force is mass times acceleration due to gravity. So mass is 2000 kg. And what is acceleration due to gravity? Magnitude. 9.8 so what do we get 2000 times 9.8 it is 19600 newtons 2000 kg object is at rest on the floor what is the normal force exerted by the floor normal force acts vertically up gravitational force acts vertically down so you have normal force acting vertically up gravitational force acting vertically down for an object at rest, net force is zero. If net force is zero, vector sum of forces is zero. What does that mean? Force up balances force down. Normal force is up. Normal force is up. It balances gravitational force mg. Gravitational force is, do not forget, Gravitational force is mass times acceleration due to gravity. It balances gravitational force mg down. So what is normal force? Normal force is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. So even though we do not have an expression for finding the normal force, by looking at the object at rest, normal force from the surface is perpendicular to the surface, perpendicular. Normal force from the surface is perpendicular to the surface. Gravitational force, W is equal to mg. Gravitational force is vertically down. Vector sum of forces is zero. So you say normal force is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. So what is the strategy that we use? The strategy that we use is to isolate the non-zero mass. Isolate the non-zero mass. Look at the forces acting on the mass. So you have normal force and gravitational force. Set normal force equal to gravitational force because net force is zero. Force up equals force down. So you have to apply your thought process to determine the normal force. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.